Yo, 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 what's going on, Canal here? What is going on here? I apologize, I ain't got no microphone or cool camera. I'm in the middle of jungle in Costa Rica. And the market is heating up. Everybody's been asking me, what the heck is going on? What is there to play? Freaking my watch list is like a monster cock long. But there's a lot of interesting action happening. The queues have been holding support here. And, you know, a lot of people are asking, is this like the bottom or anything like that? No, uh, most likely this is a, a bear market rally. You know, we don't necessarily know, but there are some awesome positive offshoots of it. In general, when the QQQ is over the 50-day moving average, uh, the market does tend to act a little bit more bullish. It does tend to, instead of gap down, gap up. Uh, you get a little bit more speculative in nature. You know, in general, we don't know if this is the bottom of the market or not. We have a handful of things that uh, I think are in our favor, but I thought that before anyways, and we have to trade the price action. But let's just take a look here at market breadth. You know, if you look at market breadth over here, you know, the T2108 indicator, which is a percentage stocks over the 40-day moving average, we're coming into kind of the old highs here, but the market breadth has really improved a lot. Percentage of stocks over the 200-day moving average, this is a very, very important indicator. We're in the 50s. This is breaking out right now. But I think this is the main thing. This is the thing that you want to watch, right? Breakouts versus breakdowns in the market. It gauge the true health of the market. So advanced versus declines don't mean shit. Most part, market breadth indicators don't mean nothing. Breakouts versus breakdowns. And not like 1% breakdowns. 4% breakouts versus 4% breakdowns. What you can see here is like anything over 500, I think, is a bullish day. So you get 1,000 here. There's 80 here, right? We had $700 day, 700 day here. And look, look, it was like 100 there, right? Now we've had a series of, so this is a series. We've had big up days, but we haven't had a breath thrust. A breath thrust means a series of days where there's a considerable amount of breakouts. Today there was 580, yesterday was 500. I would consider anything over 400 a bullish day. It doesn't matter what the indexes say because Apple controls, right? Apple, Googles, and all this, right? The MSM, the, you know, <laughs> the Rots, Themes, whoever, that somebody controls all this stuff. But in general, breath tells the whole story and market breath is improving. You know, the spy is at the 200 day moving average, but the spy doesn't really matter anymore, to be honest. Like it's at the 200 day moving average, it needs to thrust over here. But the NASDAQ, because that's led the way down, we're at the 50-day moving. It needs a hold here. But we're up five, six days in a row. And so that is something to just kind of keep note of. But forget all this stuff. Like, none of this stuff matters, right? There's some hot, hot heat here. So there is speculative action going, led by small caps. You can see the IWM has gone on a rampage today, 1.68%. I believe January, I've been telling the people in my chat room this since December, January, large caps are going to be dead. If you're just banging your head on Apple and Microsoft and stuff, those things are still pigs. But in January, you get a January effect. There's going to be a lot of stocks that were like $100, $200 that are $1, and they're about to go. So you could see today it was like led by, right, CVNA. So all these little car companies were starting to go here, right? So you got Arrival. Right, this thing goes from right 30 cents to 60 cents. I bungled quite a few of these today. So uh, I've got a list here of EV companies. Uh, I'll put this uh, for you guys here. You can see uh, there's a whole host of these. Like, see this FUV, right? This thing's got a nice base breakout. You want to find the ones that haven't moved yet, right? So I think some of these, I got a whole list of these kind of squeezers here. Starting with, let's just take a look here. Um, I hate trading penny stocks and uh, this kind of shit, but uh, there's a whole list of these. Uh, the Birdman, Birds, this is right, like your electric scooters. This only happens in like California countries, right? But California places, but they got all those electric scooters running around. You've got a flag pattern rolling hot over here. Um, this ALO, this is a biotech stock, but you got a base breakout coming out here. Um, this has got a little bit more thin, but I think this is something that may speed up. Once again, you don't just blindly buy these. These are not swing trades or anything like that. Um, these are for day trades, right? I think Rivian, if you want something a little bit more safe, Rivian, right? You've got a floor here 
at what is this like 16 and you're just kind of creeping over the 90 man you've got a little bit of a level here i would say boom boom boom, boom. you got a level here right in this kind of 17 to 18 range if it gets over there like you're ready to shred um ride i think could get picked up like i'm looking for all these cheapies here um skills is another one like so we want chamat plays kathy johnson plays like skills could get picked up here um nicola over the 50-day moon as you can see it's been getting rejected here multiple times i think that one's looking pretty hot veru blast from the past like this thing is a big gigantic piece of crap one of the biggest turns in the market the six dollar range is huge i think that could have a chance we works right we works we got a 185 alert on this thing 184 you got a w pattern over here dude i think this aprn's got a chance big big base right a little bit of a cult stock you know, these guys also have high short interest. Like, you know, if you're looking at, there's not that much good short interest data out here, but if you look at the high short interest stocks, you got CMA, and a BBY, a lot of these are already squeezed. BYND, squeeze. UPST, I've been in this one. Squeeze, EVGO, squeeze, right? W's been squeezing. Um, oddly, Blink has not moved that much, but look, look what you got over here, right? You got a little Nikola, right? You got a little Rock. You got a little Fubo. I think Fubo could be, Fubo could be one too, right? So uh, add in Fubo. Fubo, man, that's got a nice chart too. So add in Fubo, add in APRN. And look, with a rival going, this FFIE, right? If we're talking about like Penny, EV, bogus companies, then FFIE's got it. Um, this thing, if it takes out maybe about 50 cents, I think that one's going to have it. Uh, and then, you know, add in Fubo here. You got a nice little breakout here. I took a little piece of it for a swing um, already in the two spot, but I think this one's going to have a chance, especially kind of clears this level. Now, look, these are the biggest turds in the market. And there's a whole host of these other ones like open and right, like DM and stuff. Kathy Johnson, Chamat plays. Man, Chamat, that is Indian people wrong, but shit, right? Like, that's going to be hot. So just kind of keep in mind of this stuff. Guys, uh, feel free if you got any questions. Remember, these are just day trades. They're not swing trades. And, um, hey, God bless. Let's go have some fun tomorrow.